What's up guys, Jubs here, just giving you a sneak peek at what's in the future of the game Grounded. Uh, now obviously this video is going to have some spoilers, so if you don't want to see any of that, then you should probably click off this video now. Uh, but if not, then let's get straight into it. Uh, as you can see, I'm taking the uh, camera around the pond area, because that's where pretty much all the changes are going to be. Uh, well, it seems like. Um, as you can see, I just went through there, which is going to be the new field uh, research pod that's going to be in the game. Um, and panning along the pond here, you can see all the, the lily pads and the new flora that's going to be in the game to craft new items. Um, and primarily there's going to be a new lab, which I will show you later on in the video. It looks like that this is going to add um, some story content to the game as well. Um, as you will see from my quest in the top left, uh, as you can see it says find your way to the depth of the pond. It's a new... Uh, quest is added and it seems to take place straight after the oak lab explosion because later on you'll see it says um, to divert the power back to the oak lab so this does look like it's the next step in the story as well um, as you can see underwater here they've made a couple of changes to um, the layout um, added a couple of stuff they've moved to the frisbee um, and right here you can see that the outside of the lab um, which I will take the camera through so you can see the control room um, and then I'll show you how to get into the lab uh, just slightly later in the video right so now I'm going to show off some of the creatures that have been added to the game in the uh, pond area as it does seem this uh, update is uh, pretty much completely water focused this is the water strider um, and as you can see there's no real AI to them yet um, what they're going to mainly be used for in terms of crafting is you're going to be able to use their legs um, to create uh, I believe they're called strider skis um, and that's going to allow you to walk across the surface of the water up next we have leeches um, they seem to be hostile to the player however as you can see here they don't really seem to attack and then combat kind of just stops and goes so they seem like they're still um, a little bit of a work in progress um, they are going to mainly be used for their leech sacks um, which I believe are used in the crafting of um, the diving helmets which is then used for the koi helmet later on which uh, improves your breath as you can see at the top of the screen um, my oxygen is going down quite slowly because I am wearing the koi armor now over here you can see we've got some tadpoles uh, they're going to be a passive creature um, I actually run into a diving bell spider here as well so you can see that nice and up and close uh, as you can see um, it's much smaller than the other spiders uh, it seems to have you know the ability to attack the player although it doesn't have a name when you hit it on top of its health bar so it looks like it's still a little bit of work to do there um, yep yeah, they're going to be hostile to the character whereas tadpoles are going to be passive and they're just going to kind of like swim around um, you're going to be able to use their meat in a variety of different crafting uh, diving bell spiders they're going to have their silk which is going to be used in a variety of different crafting recipes um, and they're also going to drop spider venom uh, just like the other spiders in the game so that's going to be another good source of spider venom to be able to farm in the game so I actually lost my footage of the water boatmen which are going to be added to the game um, so I apologise for that but I will show them off in a later video where I go through every single item that's been added to, well, will be added to the game or is in the game files um, also you hear me mention koi armor uh, which will also be added to the game um, however you don't see any koi's which I'm not really sure why because you're able to spawn them in with the console and they seem to work okay um, like the other creatures that you see uh, they're just not in here for some reason I'm not really sure why so as you can see um, I swim through the hole at the bottom of the pond which is going to be added to the game um, and you can see the T-Rex uh, figurine at the bottom with some science underneath um, I'm just going to swim along here to show you exactly how you do get into the underwater lab. So this is the inside of the lab. Um, I'm going to show you the way to like the main control panel. Um, as you can see a bit of a bug, it seems you can slurp from anywhere inside the lab. N not exactly sure what's going on there, but as you can see from a quest on the inside, you have to trigger a switch 
for the underwater lab dome which you will see me do just in a second. As you can see triggering this switch will cause the lab to open up in kind of like a nice observation uh, underwater. Um, and as you can see by the quest you will now need to reset three underwater power breakers which I will show you the locations right now. As you can see they're quite hard to miss, they're the really big and obvious of so the yellow switches right there and they are all uh, really close together. And as you can see, triggering the switch again is supposed to reroute the power to the oak tree lab, um, which is why I think this is going to be the next chunk of story content as well, um, because in the main story when you see Burgle, he says the batteries are drained, so I believe this is going to be how you're going to get power back to there, um, and then there's going to be some more content from there onwards. Once you've triggered the switch, uh, I believe the first time and you've opened up like the kind of observation is also going to uh, open up a hatch on the outside, which I'm going to show you now, um, which is basically going to be a second exit so you can get in and out of the lab more easily than having to swim all the way through the hole the first time. Um, this should allow you to be able to do it without having koi armor on, for example, um, just as an easy way to get in and out. So that pretty much wraps things up. Um, after doing that I did go back to the oak lab and uh, nothing had actually changed so it looks like they just haven't uh, got that far or it's not even close to ready in the game files. Not exactly sure but yeah there's, there's nothing else you can do new in the oak lab so it looks like about all you can do. Um, just a couple other bits that I go over is this uh, new structure in the pond with the research pod inside it is actually guarded by spiders. Uh, so if you're going to make your way to there in the future, just be wary of that. So I hope you guys liked the video. Let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, I will be doing another video soon, which is going to go over all the items that are currently in the game or the game files um, and going over them in quite a bit of detail. Um, I'm looking to do weekly videos at least. Uh, but yeah, let me know if there's anything you've found or anything you would like me to go over and I'll see you in the next one